Welcome back to another episode. So we are going to start the whole thing. And someone chose the name already. They had to do that, so I had to change the name. What is this? Trixia, huh? What's Trixia supposed to be? It's probably our starting area. Anyway. So, let's see. We have character slot extension tickets. Uh-huh. So... One artist. Wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's that? Character slot extension tickets to her own. Eh? Can someone please explain to me what those two things are? I mean, character slot extension limit, I can kind of get around that. Ooh. Oh, you cannot change the background music. Swap spots. From this one to that one. Uh -huh. I mean, it would be nice if it's more centered, right? Like, that one goes somewhere over here. Right. Oh! Now I get it. Uh, interesting. So, in order to get the second roster of characters, you have to, well, uh, do something about it. There we go. Much nicer. How does that look? There's probably an in-game shop, is there? Character slot extension. Uh, you need a character... Ticket. Purchase it now. Amount required to order one. Uh, how much is that? 800 whatever these things are. Your balance is not sufficient to make the purchase. Sure. That is great. What's a power pass? Uh, select Crixion pass. You do not have a pass and therefore cannot use one. That's not why I clicked on it. Uh, I want to know what that means. Vern pass. Wait, wait. So there's a Trixion. This one says select Trixion pass. And then we have a Vern pass. So what's... What is it? Give me the info before doing something like that. And also, look at this. The exit button is on the bottom right, overlapping anything else. Usually... What you can do in here is like you can click on settings and every window that opens up has the cross on the top right. Whereas this one here has a completely different layout and has the exit on the bottom right as a button. That is not correct. <laughs> Should be the same. What about reskinning? Oh, come on. Like everything. This, 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 this. What about name changes? Okay. So basically... Make sure that your character is already perfect before doing anything else because reskins and character changes cost money. They would be absolutely easy to implement. You could just kind of copy them. Nah, well, hmm. All right, let's 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 not flame too much about it. I mean, it's still free. You don't have to buy the game. A character that is displayed as your primary character in the roster content. Sure. We don't want to delete it now. Is there a way to secure the character for... So that there's nothing happening there? Pride Hall. And... Okay, so I have to probably find all of the other areas first. Before doing anything. Wait a minute. My... I still can't go for those options. Still not possible. Right. And... Uh, hmm. That's still not that. Ah. Main character can't be replaced on registration day. Uh -huh. What? Hmm. Probably some server side thingy because every time you move things about, uh, some server program has to do that. And because they're an awful lot of. Wait a minute. On registration day. Well, that makes no sense. All right, let's launch the thing. Let's see, uh, we have control settings. You can change your control settings later in the settings hotkeys menu. Sure. We have a tech with left mouse button uh, or tech with right mouse button. What do I want to do? What about movement? <sighs> How do I usually move? Do I right click move or do I left click move? I mean, I think right click is the attack all of the time. So this is it. Then, of course, we have Quirzu. We are no mental people. Uh, and then there's also Azerti. <laughs> uh, 
Wait a minute. How many buttons have been changed in this layer? I mean, just these two rows, of course. You have the Qs, uh, the, Q, the Qs, which with the A, uh, the S is still on the same position. The W is gone. The E and D are still on the same uh, position, same as the F and the R. Same goes for the T and the Y, G and H. So it's only the Z that's up here. That's completely different. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, basic controls. Uh, you cannot you cannot click on those, they're just informative. So you have skills. Q A E R. Q Eh. Heh. <laughs> There's some problem over here already. Oh you gotta be kidding me. No. I mean, I can understand that these letters change because it's the Aserti layout. And A, Z, and Q are different in here. But why is it that I, if I click on this layout, the A suddenly changes? <laughs> it's so weird. It's not even an A up here by mistake or anything. It's just like, what? Anyway, uh, pick up an item is G. Wait, what? Who picks up items with G? Space bar, movement and stand up. Then we have attack with C and auto move T for travel. All right. Then, photo sensitivity support settings. I wouldn't really call it photo sensitivity mode. I would call it nicer looking mode. Like this one is flashy, kind of almost too over the top. Let's just hope that you can change that. Um, photo sensitivity mode reduces screen flashes and other visual effects during combat and all. I don't want. Well, if it's reduced, it's okay, but um, it still needs to be there just so you can get the feel of it. Because sometimes it looks a bit too flashy. It has nothing to do with photo sensitivity. It's just that the whole thing gets too, too much. Uh, no. Cutscene videos contain flashing lights, which may cause seizures for individuals with a photosensitive epilepsy. Viewer discretion is advised. Photosensitivity mode only reduces flashing lights during gameplay combat. Alright, we'll we still go for the default, and then I'm going to uh, compare this on uh, two mobs, basically. King Lutera went to Trixion with the help of the uh, and met Beatrice. Alright. And what did Lutera and Beatrice do? It was a tough mission. Oh. Even for an Arthatine specialist. Deja like vu. I have the space Dr. Bergstrom was using innocent people in his ghastly experiments. What could drive Arthur Teen's most respected scientist to do such a thing? It was that damn gem. The ruby eye, they call it. That was no gem. It was the eye of a particularly nasty demon. The ruby eye had the power to control minds. Our best specialists fell prey to its powers. It took Yorn and me. Take the Ruby Eye! <laughs> but you were different. You overcame the temptations of the Ruby Eye and fought the demons trying to resurrect Akan. You're gonna need that strength of will for the next mission. How dare. Good luck, partner. And when you save the world, drinks are on me. There we go. The actual introduction. Greetings. Hmm. I. 
what am I doing here? Has led you here. Now that was a cool teleport. Welcome to the edge of the world, Trixian. Hmm. Now follow the path of the light. <laughs> what if I don't want it? Cross right a destiny. Press left control on the ground to wait. What? Was it left control or was it left? I think it was left click. It was just not that good at reading. And okay, so that might be some kind of hub between worlds that opens up the. Interesting. That's cool. Ah, I like the fact that there's actually a certain... Is it that? There's a certain shadowy effect happening uh, with every click. That's neat. Right. Wait a minute. Uh, escape. Ooh! Oh, what is this? There's some memories. Okay. There's the Bifrost. Uh-huh. Sheet music. Ooh. Collectibles. What are the collectibles? Let's just look at them. Uh. Okay. Okay. There's an awful lot of stuff. And also an awful lot of different stuff that you can collect. Some of them seem to be similar. Wait. Like island tokens uh, and mokoko seeds. And then you have like... Wait a minute. There we go. This stuff and this stuff. Ignite tokens. Roll tree leaves. And sea bounties. Right. Uh, pick up this and this and this and this and this. So there are achievements. Can't once a card catalog. Ooh. A lazarus who watches over the world from Trixian. Rift in space. Time under the... Order of the main god, Regulus. Ah, makes sense. Uh, select and unlock. Control and right click, open card menu. Kind of card menu. Hmm. Can we get bonus effects from the cards? That would be neat. Roster info. Uh, all roster characters, strength, dexterity, intelligence, plus five. You can raise your roster level through various ways. Uh, yeah. What's that? Increase your roster XP through various activities. Sure. But, uh, it says roster, as in, it might be more than one character that's affected by it. Hey, eh? That's kind of strange. Let's see. Wait. No. C is, uh... Yeah, I can... Okay, so I can attack with C and with right click, um, but... I is my inventory. Okay. <laughs> you got some pets. And some normal storage. Sure, 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 sure. The storage, on the other hand, already has every item pre-positioned. That's perfect. I love this stuff. If it already has a certain order to it, it makes it much easier to look through things. And if it's stackable, hopefully, makes things even easier there. Right. Uh, the normal inventory, there's sword options. What else we got? Quest items, dismantleable things, and uh, to use the gem function, you must complete the quest, the final report. And then we don't know what both of these things are. There's no name to them. Silver and gold coins. Ish. Miscellaneous menu? No, let's go for everything. So this is a very basic inventory. I mean, you don't need much more than that. Uh, o is the roster options. Oh, wait, yeah. Roster bonus effect. The effects applied per roster are combined and displayed. Roster level reward effect and permanent stat potion effect. A stat potion effect. Isn't the whole idea of a potion to be temporary? <laughs> the total card book effect. Ah, there we go. So we got dexterity, vitality, crits, but wait a minute. There's no strength in here. So can it be that the first two are somewhat related to your character? That's weird. Anyway, we've got specialization, dominance, swiftness, endurance. Awful lot of stuff that we do not know what they do. Uh, oh, there's also wisdom. Roster bonus virtue. S 
whoever displays Ross of Virtue, skins equipped to each character do not affect these values. Heh. <laughs> skins don't affect these values. So that means that skins may affect these values then. Right. Uh, all roster character strength exceed to times plus five. So let's just click on claim reward to see what happens. Uh, combat level 10 or above required to claim. What's it? Like, if, I click, if I can click on claim reward and if it's like glowing already, so why can't I click on it? Or like, why does it not do what it's supposed to do? Whatever. That was O. Uh, P for character. Actually, instead of. What about B? B is not doing anything. Wait a minute. Um, what about the... Where is it? Ah, where is it? I need the control settings. Uh, settings are up here. Then we have a gameplay and gamepad. Hot. Well, gamepad doesn't do much because we have nothing on there. Let's go for hotkeys then. Basic controls. Da 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 da. Attack. Keyboard C. Makes no sense. I mean, we can attack already with a mouse, and this is locked. That's not cool. Uh, but alright. Attack with right mouse button. Yes. Use the right mouse button to attack. Now it's flipped. So this option here flips your mouse. Very interesting. Auto move is T. Wait a minute. Auto move must then... Oh, auto move just goes forward. It does not follow the mouse all the time, right? So... What you can do is just do this and run against the wall and everything's fine. Pretty neat. So, because I also have to figure out when you're getting kicked out of the game. That might be a nice way around it. <laughs> Awakening skill is V. Right. Then we have interact 1 and 2. Maybe some options in uh, conversations and so on. Movement and stand up. Uh-huh. Yeah, G and H. G and H. H, right. What about uh, Y, X, C, and whatnot? We got the change hut with a B. Oh. Yeah, I haven't seen any hut yet. Special skill is Y and X. Y and X. Okay. And C is supposed to be the, the attack. Uh huh. Control companion is shift. Show loot name is all. Okay, that's easy. And why is this one locked? Can't you just unlock the whole thing? Come on. Why are certain buttons hard locked in and some other buttons on? That's kind of weird. Anyway, we have some sailing options. Uh, the ship horn is C. Fast sailing, docking mode. And so on and so forth. Hopefully we have some overlay that tells us what to press. Because I'm not going to remember all of that for now. Hotkeys for skill slots. Uh, we have QWER. All right. Then we have ASDF. Yeah. And uh, what about T and Z? Ah, T is auto move. And uh, Y is the special skill, but Z is not in here yet. We have a guild skill. Uh huh. All right. That's something that's not going to happen. Uh, empty slot one uh, for items. So there's F. Uh -huh. That's weird. Wait a minute. So you have F5 to F9 for the guild skills. Then you have items, right? And they start somehow F1 followed by 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. <laughs> uh, then you have slot presets. Okay, control Q and whatnot. That's easy. Battle item, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then you have quest items. Wow. Also Fs, right? Okay, so there are guilds thingies, and then there's this thing. And they have the same button. Very interesting. Then what else we got? We got the menu. Character profile, P. Yeah. I wanted to move this onto C because I don't need the separate attack button, to be honest. But let's just keep that P for now. Uh, inventory I. That could be a B because it's also very close. By the way, what does P do again? Uh, change heart. Yeah. I mean, this one can be P or something or I or whatnot. Then what else we have? Combat skills K. That's standard. Trade skills. That's weird. Ah, emotes. There we go. Right. Uh, report. Whatever that one is. Then we got play instruments. Ooh. 
All right. World map M, overlay map, chat, uh, friends, you, guild, all of you. Yeah, these buttons are not that close. Roster is that. Achievement, alt and o, advanced home, in. There's codex stuff, some shops, some titles, some mounds, some calendars, whatever. All of these are just, well, menus. We may not need all of them. So, let's see. Others. Oh, screenshots. There we go. Print screen. Needy. Hide UI. But for the screenshot function, we actually need to uh, set a path for this. Otherwise, it's just going to be the basic folder. And that's definitely not large enough. <laughs> Hide UI. There. Alt and X. There we go. That's important. Zooming in and zooming out. Large context menu. And change cursor color. What? We can change a cursor color. That's awesome. Okay. Target context menu. Control and right click. How does that work? Whatever. Let's see. Uh, integrated preset key settings. Control and A. Uh -huh, very neat. Then, of course, we have the voice chat menu and the push to talk button, which I have no clue where to find, to be honest. What button is that? Huh. Weird. Usually that's T. Uh, party voice chat, some other stuff, NL1, whatever that means. I don't know what this button is. Great. So I have to figure out what T is so I don't accidentally move things about. Uh, items maybe? No. Skills maybe. No. Skills aren't there. What about sailing? There. Auto sailing is... Ah, Tivo's moving! Mm. Yeah, that makes things a bit more difficult, man. Oh, actually I can use it as C. Or V, actually. Wait a minute. Do we have... Uh. And there's ship horn. Well, both of them are somewhat annoying. But, uh, let's see. Let's press... That was global chat. Wait a minute. That's also some kind of chat button. No. Ah, that could be it. Yeah, that might be it. How do I close that one? Uh, minimize chat window, yes. I don't want to minimize it. I want to get rid of it. Uh, I mean, how do I close the chat? Huh. I mean, I opened it, and now it's there. <laughs> How do I get rid of it? Um, and there's no search function. That's not good. So, chat, chat, chat. Chat, 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 chat. Global chat, there we go. Huh. This one. Okay, so the um, settings in here. Like, you can select a thirty or qwerty or whatever kind of settings but it does not change the presets of the buttons in game the presets are always for the english one i presume because this thing cannot be pressed <laughs> um at least not without any other buttons being held down in Thursday. because otherwise i have to press this one macro text has not been set yet yeah, of course not that was not the menu that I wanted to open. Um, uh, this one opens that stuff. Nope. That one does other things. I mean, how do I get rid of this thing? Chat settings. There we go. Uh, community view chat system, whatever. Huh. How do I get rid of that? More complex like this button here. What is that? What is it? It could be this one. No, it has to be a button that is easily pressable. 
Yeah, I think I know what kind of button I'm going to use. So, let's see. Uh, was it that one? Yes. That's not even an option. Okay, that's great. <laughs> nice. Okay, so the game does not know what kind of layout it's supposed to use, even if you selected the layout. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So when it comes to special symbols in here, and if you're from Europe, for example, where the people are, well, normal with their keyboards, then... Uh, <laughs> uh, right, 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 right. Yeah, I can't press, like, there's a button between Shift and Y. On the bottom left. I, the game does not recognize it. It would be a very nice one. <laughs> would be absolutely in amazing. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Let's, let's cancel that. What does that one do? That one does not, not do anything. Okay. So let's... Let uh, this one be that one. And voice chat menu will be... Uh, alt and that one. Perfect. There we go. How do I know I'm... Okay. There's no symbol or anything uh, on top of me that tells me that I annoy other people. <laughs> right. Uh, settings. Yeah. Actually, I wanted to just uh, do a little bit of stuff here, but the menu itself is absolutely much. Maybe at the beginning you don't really know, need to know everything in here, but... Uh, that's just the stuff that I like to look at at the beginning. Right. Um, yeah. Combat skills K. Let's see what we have in here. We have a free bonus perks for this one. Some levels that we can spend on it. And a squeaky chair. Let's just... Wait a minute. And maybe that one does not squeak as much. Ah, uh, still squeaky. Whatever. We got a point. We got an enforcer execution, which is the combo with a W. And then we got an E and an R. Interesting. What's recommended? Uh, nah. Let's just close that. What is settings? So there's like one, two, and three. Okay. Add a skill room to unlock. Alright. That's not working. Okay. Throw a spinning handgun at the target. Uh-huh. Locating... Location within 10 meters. Inflicting up to 20 damage over 15 hits. Alt. Uh, toggle PvP, PvE specific tooltip. Uh-huh. So maybe there's a different amount of... Oh! It's not as good in PvP. And it has no paralyzing... Pa paralyzing thing. This one says inflicting up to... 17 damage and this one says causing up to 17 damage why do they change wording in there if it does basically mean the same thing what's the difference between infliction and causing it's kind of like no i don't do any damage to you i just cause the damage i'm not inflicting it what kind of stuff is that <gasps> all right I can understand that some super armor stuff gets not used to anything, but alright. Uh, Fire Plasma Bullet that travels at a low speed while continuously inflicting 4 damage. Now we have a fire volley of bullets into the air when control them to crash into the target location, inflicting 31 damage and launching foes into the air. Meteor Stream, yeah, of course. With the ATO1. Throw a grenade at the target location within 10 meters, inflicting 27 damage. Somersault to move forward while firing the handguns to inflict damage. Sure. Uh, oh, there's also MP consumption. I have to look at that for certain. We have death fire. Fires a volley of bullets over so and so much and do things. Um, that's interesting. There seem to be more skills available, but there's only the page number one that we can do right now. Track skill trees for notifications when you get near gear. A new gear. Uh-huh. 
And what does that new gear actually do? Skip tree gear that is uh, tracked is marked with that symbol. Mm. Alright. Oh, these are presets. <laughs> really? Okay, so we can have... It's kind of weird, right? We can have uh, two presets plus one that you can buy. It doesn't even say that you can buy this, right? Like, everything that should be buyable should have... Or can be bought should have a certain... Buying uh, icon on it. Like a shop button or maybe a money icon or whatever. So that you know that this thing that you press on is related to money. Just say. That would be nice, because right now it just looks like a skill selection number three, and then stuff happens. Not cool. Anyway, let's call this one the Duminator. Can we change that? Yes. Ba -bam 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 -bam. <laughs> and there is not that many skills that we can use. Very interesting. Uh, that's not doable. Okay, wait. I really have to look for a way to deactivate the chat. Uh, right. Chat window. How to disable area? Yeah. How to window. Is there a way to disable chat completely? Not disabling it, just not looking at it. Um, yada yada yada. Sometimes just right click the chat tab in chat area. You will chat tab options that you could disable it. Okay. Minimizing it still shows me the thing. That's... Uh, Wait, what? Ooh. Snappy, nice. The chat window just disappeared. Right? Now it's there again? Huh? No. Okay, so maybe it disappears after a certain amount of uh, time. Uh, they said that right clicking does something. Chat tab settings cancel. Ah. STT chat settings. This it. Whatever that means. The. Like you can hide it. How? Two? No. Maybe I pressed something and it got recognized. That's weird. How? To deactivate? Chat. Win. Ah! There we go. We mm, the no. That's weird. So, is this a time-sensitive thing? Or maybe this is it. Uh, Oh? No. It is a time-sensitive thing, then. Alright. That is so weird. Absolutely weird. And now it's gone. Right? And it's exactly the way that it's supposed to be. Okay. That was uh, 34 minutes of just looking at stuff. Actually, let's make it a complete episode of looking at things. Why not? Um, so that we can have a more training room. What's that? Can't move there because we have not locked it yet. And codex. What do we have here? We got G mm -hmm. Right. There's stuff in it. What about the cards? All. Uh dungeon, abyssal, whatever. Do they do anything? Do I get any effects? What's going on? Oh, coin! There we go. Tokens. A special coin that is only found in Guinea. Take it to a merchant ship to collect coins. No, that collects coins. 
but um, hmm. it's only found in Roy. Aha. Uh -huh. Why can't you just call it a Rohendal coin instead of calling it a Sept. It's really weird. Skeptrum's coin. I mean, unsellable, indestructible, cannot be dismantled. A special coin that is only found in Rohendal. Take it to imagine. If it can only be found in Rohendal, why can't you just call it Rohendal coin? So you know that those coins are coming from this area. <laughs> I mean, come on! This one, for example. See that? It's a Guinar's coin because it's only found in Guinea. An Arcturus coin can only be found, of course, in Yorn. The ancient coin in Phaeton. Okay, maybe this is an ancient area, but what about the sun coin in Punica? Okay, so some of them. One, actually. Uh, only one of them, the Guinar's coin, is uh, <laughs> has, has the right name for its use. Whatever. Okay, uh, so this is basically your uh, item codex. Then uh, pet stuff. We don't have that thing yet. Then collectibles. Yeah, I was looking at it. Wait a minute. L, wasn't it? No. J. Yeah. Uh, J is that. K was with the abilities, but yeah, we can't do anything in here yet. Then there's obviously other stuff, and of course the voice chat options that we get. Oh, emotes. Yes. Emotes was a Z, wasn't it? Yes. We got talk. Tap talk to talk animatedly with gestures. Right. Why does it open the chat, though? I mean, it's okay that we do the animation. It is not that okay to open the chat at the same time. I mean, there's no reason for tap dance to boogie to the beat. Yeah, what else we got? We got sad. We got greetings. There we go. Uh, uh, you are performing another action. Yeah, I know. And I'm clicking on another action so that I can overwrite the previous action so that it does whatever I'm clicking on. That was the idea. Um, all right. Wait a minute, can I, can I move the camera around somehow? Yeah, ha wait a minute. Is there really no camera move option? I mean, we are in a 3D environment, so why shouldn't that work? Why is that like... Nope. There's no such thing. We can move extremely close to the character, which is amazing. Uh, Z, let's see. We can, we can greet. Yeah, that's perfect. There's <laughs> absolutely no emotion in the face. What else we got? Emoticons. Recommended. Um, pleasant Mokoko emotion. Tap the phrase recommendation to trigger the emoticon. Uh, wait. Oh. That makes it easier to talk to other people because... Uh, okay, you cannot spam that stuff. You can't spam... Okay. Right. So there's a 12 second delay for that. Even if there's no one else present. <sighs> okay, so everything has the same animation. What about this one? Patrick's. Ah, oh, that's cool. <sighs> right. Anyway, we got greetings. I'm just looking for the ones that I need most of the time. Oh, no. No, my pet just died. Oh, no. How sad. How can I... I can't even turn the, cam uh, the character around. There should be a face camera button. Uh, anyway, we got to agree. Then we have disagree. That should be a different sign. Is that disagree? Do I see disagree? No. What's that? Report Mokoko Village. Yes, you can unlock them through playing. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I don't like paying for emoticons. All right. Wave dance. Sure. We got a whistle. We got a roar. We got a stretch. We got a taunt. We got some affection. Surprised. Oh, no. Still, no emotions in the face. It's only movement. See that? That face is dead as a rock. Interesting. So there might be also different sit animations. Let's go for sit. Oh, that's cool. Wait a minute. Uh, if I go for greeting again. Ah, so it's still sorted the way it was before. View favorites. Ah, there we go. So there we have a sorry agree. There's ask. You're performing another action. I know. Oh, wait, there's a stand, right? So if I go and sit again. 
But then I click on space for the stand. Does the car Okay, space does not do standing. You can register emotes to a quick slot. Yeah. What else we got? Uh, dance was dancing. Ask was... Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh. It's not really asking. It's more like being confused. That's, of course, the deny thingy. And courage. How does that one look? That's... Very encouraging. There's some giggling. No sound, though. I mean, we have given this character a voice, so why isn't that one... That's weird. Why is Fury giving me the kind of page sign as applause? <laughs> Alright, let's keep that one. Ah, uh, that's not what we need. Okay, then we got, of course, cheer. Uh huh. That doesn't really sound nor look like cheer. At least only a little bit. <gasps> No. Hmm. Is there something like an I want you? There's advanced, there's polite, there's bored, pain, torn, stretch sway. I need... Well, back would be an option. Cheers would also be an interesting option. Pray would also be another one. And then there's pride, interrogate. Umoka is another dance. Spirit recovery... Oh, levitate! Neat. That's an oath. Oh, oath's also pretty neat. But I want you... thing. That would be sweet. Maybe I should, should go for advance in this one. I need to... Adventurous Tome R13. Ah. The term completion thing. Right. So... What's the talking thing? It's just... Nah. Yeah, yeah. And that's a sorry thing. What's a, the what's a sorry thing going for? Sometimes you can use emotes for different uh, emotes. It's more like... Uh -huh. Right. So, what was the fury again? A bit too stompy for my uh, liking, but alright. So, that was that. And what else we got? Characters profile. Yes, the P thingy. What does it do? Uh, we can select, of course, all of the presets. We can change them again. That's perfect. Then we have skins and virtues. Titles. Uh, that are not yet male and... Wait. Change to a female title. Huh. <laughs> so when it comes to male and female titles, right, you can choose whatever you want. But when it comes to male and female characters, that's not a thing. <laughs> no. Oh, Jesus. Ah, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. From rank 22, rank 1, you can develop through Proving Grounds and a tier 1, whatever. What else? We got some rings. We got earrings, two earrings. Wait a minute. Two earrings, two normal rings, uh, a necklace, some ability stones. Uh, something that is locked. You must reach level so and so much before you can use engravings. Two of them. There's weapons and gloves and leg wear, chest pieces, shoulders, and headgear, which you can hide. Perfect. Hide weapon effects. <gasps> nice. You can look stylish also. That's perfect. Depending on stats, individualized battles are possible for each character. Configure your stats according to your fighting style. Huh. So there's a, ooh, a crit, potions and roster level rewards, yada, yada, yada. Then you gain various bonuses according to the class that you choose to advance. Specialization, I know. Domination, damage to pushed or debuffed foes, so that you dominate them even more. So you have to debuff or push them, like CC them, let's say. And then you can deal more damage afterwards. So is that also on the same attack that does that effect? Damage to staggered foes. So really, they have differentiate between the two. A permanent increase by potions and roster level rewards. 
Permanent increases? Yeah. From total books bonus. Then we have swiftness. Attack speed, movement speed, and skill cooldown. Yes. Ah, it also has the right uh, sign in front of it. So attack speed plus so and so much. Movement plus so and so much. And skill cooldown goes down by so and so much. Permanent increase by potions. So and so much and whatever. So, so you can get a permanent increase from potions permanently. And also from like total books bonuses that you can find. The, but does that also translate to other characters? So you only need to find them once, or do you need to do this for multiple characters? Interesting. So we have an item level, zero, sure. And earn, da da da. Why are there two numbers? Then, yeah, that was swiftness. Then we have endurance, uh, physical defense, and magical defense. Uh huh. Right. Why do you have physical and magical defense as two separate values? That are getting larger with endurance. I mean, it's understand. <clears throat> I mean, in the end, it will just be the same number for physical and magical defense. But in this case, uh, it's getting into the calculation through different variables, I think. So there's a physical damage calculation, then there's also magical damage calculation. Interesting. Shields, that much healing, that much, and some bonuses again. The duration of debuffs you cast on foes. The duration of debuffs cast on you is uh, minus so and so much. Aha. Uh -huh. So expertise has debuff connections. Stagger bonus, so and so much. Uh -huh. So if you want to be CC heavy, you need expertise and domination. But domination is more like the damage component on it. So... Let's say you have someone in your group that does um, uh, debuff enemies and does CC effects, then they probably need uh, expertise and stuff like that. And once that affects on the enemy, then you need domination to deal even more damage. Very interesting combo. So, health. This value represents your maximum HP. Maximum HP plus 106. <laughs> this value does not represent my maximum HP. It represents the bonus of my maximum HP. Or at least... Why does it say plus 106? Huh. Maybe I really only have 106 uh, points in there. Based on your vitality. Eh? Based on my vi... So there's also vitality as a separate, uh, separate number. Pretty interesting. Maximum HP plus zero based on your vigor. I still don't know where those two numbers are coming from. So there's Vitality and Vigor. Then we have uh, Determines Your Damage to Foes. Hmm. Okay, so maybe Vitality and Vigor are coming from uh, items, but they have different effects on your maximum HP, and this is why they differentiate between the two. So in order to max this out, uh, you need a certain base value that's already high enough, and then you follow up with percentages after that. So you need a mix between the two in order to get the most out of it. So if you're only going for, let's say, uh, Vitality to max out the numbers, uh, on the linear basis, then uh, this ends up happening. Uh, but if you go for percentages at the beginning, you add the percentage on top of a very low value. So you need a high value, and then you need to multiply it with a bigger amount. So, determines your damage to foes, the attack power. Your basic attack uh, power based on strength, dexterity, intelligence, and weapon power is zero. Attack power plus zero by various attack power effects. Interesting. So, it is a basic trait and has the greatest impact on combat. It's kind of strange because we have attack power, but the, the attack power itself is coming from different variables. It can be strength, it can be dexterity, it can be intelligence, it can be weapon power itself. And then it uh, goes into attack power, which basically tells us how good our attacks are. I th think this is the value that uh, is going to be used all the time. There we go. 
So depending on your class, probably, uh, you have a main damage variable. In this case, it's dexterity because we go went for the gunner. It might be, what else do we have? Uh, strength for warriors and uh, characters that work similarly. And intelligence, of course, for magic characters, mages. Weapon stuff is always uh, related to the weapon that you choose, probably. Uh, but power increases depending on your items options. Sure. Significantly attacks your... Significantly. Uh -huh. So the better your weapon, the better you are. So it does not need to be dexterity all the time. Attack power increases as your dexterity increases. Effects from potions and so on. There is also additional damage. Uh, attack speed. Maximum increase up to 140%. Uh, huh. So it's 2.5 times whatever. Then there's accuracy, chance to land an attack on normal monsters of the same level. Whoa! Oh, not again! I hate accuracy so much. Because you can have really high damage values, but if your accuracy is basically not high enough, then uh, you only attack one, like, you attack can only p go through once every, let's say, 100 attacks, like 1%. Let's go for a very low number. So it doesn't matter how good your crit is. <laughs> it doesn't matter how good your attack is. But accuracy needs to be at least 100%. Or actually, actually, it needs to be high enough, but only 100%. Um, you can't gain more by having, let's say, 110%. In this case, wouldn't accuracy be some kind of variable that is crit related, if you think about it? So if you crit, that means that you have hit a very weak spot of the enemy, right? Or actually you've uh, hit very strongly or something like that. Um, but let's go for the accuracy, right? So 0% accuracy, no hit. Uh, you basically miss the enemy. 100% means you hit all the time, but you do not hit any weak points. The crit rate in this case is basically accuracy plus whatever that is. Um, so it starts at 100%. 101% accuracy would then be turned into a crit rating of 1%. So, you hit all the time, but 1% of the hits is critical. But that is a very interesting one. Very interesting one. Huh. Anyway, uh, your attacks have so much crit damage. Right. The minimum... Wait. Crit damage. Damage dealt when landing a critical attack. Plus 100%. And minimum reduction up to 100%. Minimum reduction. What does that mean? Maybe we can reduce the crit that we get every now and then. Anyway, ignores your first physical defense by so and so much, magical defense by so and so much, damage to incaps uh, incaps incapacitated targets. Then we have bonus versus staggered humanoids, demons, metallic, undead, plants, plants, insects, elementals, beasts, machines, angels, gods, and Arc demons. I would go with the bonus versus enemies. <laughs> Just to generalize a little bit. Uh, debuff time bonus. Status effect duration. Uh, so much. Stagger damage goes up higher. And there is the uh, ah vitality and vigor. The defense stuff. For each vitality point for gunner, uh, maximum HP goes up by two. So in this case, it is dependent on your class. Probably the warrior gets more HP. Um, they, and probably also uh, any other melee character. Maximum vigor. Maximum HP plus 1% per, per 140% vigor. Eh? This is not how that works. Maximum plus 1% per... I mean, can't the Vigor value just be a percentage in and on itself? To make more sense. Like, look at that. I mean, it's okay that you get high amounts of Vigor and then the whole thing gets translated into a variable, but can't it just be a percentage from the get-go? <laughs> ah! Come on! Like, you don't need to have another multiplier in there that does the same thing with 140. Or does that have something to do with uh, the characters again? So some characters scale better with vigor than others, so the 140 value is the thing that changes. 
Physical damage. What else? Apply to Gunner. Yada, yada, yada. Magical defense. Physical damage reduction. Wait, wait. So these are defense values. Uh-huh. Defense core bonuses cannot be applied to your magic. Da, 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 da. Then, uh, due to your physical defense, the damage you take from physical attacks of the same level of foes is reduced by so and so much. Physical damage received minus so and so much regardless of enemy level. Oh, so it differentiates. That's interesting. Very good f uh, against bosses, probably. Dodge rate. There we go. Chance of dodging. Final dodge rate is calculated based on your foe's accuracy. <laughs> so even a high dodge rate is useless if you have a boss to fight. It's always bosses that kind of break the system. Chance of being critically hit minus so and so much. But it is not related to your enemy. That's very interesting. This one is. This one is not. So, combat HP recovery for every one second in combat. Heal 1000 HP. What? Resting HP recovery for every one second out of combat. Heal 1001 HP. Uh, what? <laughs> like, this seems to be a very high... Like, my maximum HP is 106 right now. Which is kind of twice the vitality amount. That makes sense. So, for each vitality point, the gunner gets plus 2. So, vitality is at 53. It gets translated into that, and this is my max health. So, every second in combat, I'm basically invincible. <laughs> um, that might be because of this area that I'm in. That does not allow me to die. Strange. So, there's a shield damage absorption. There's healing that gets bonuses. There's debuff time reduction. Pretty neat. What else we got? Activity. Maximum magic power. Uh, for use by the character. Sure. But how... Eh. It's just a one-to-one -one translation. For every one second in combat, heal... Huh. MP. You don't heal MP. You gain MP. Resting MP recovery, 15. There we go. That makes more sense. No, actually, it makes no sense. Why is it not the other way around? Whatever. Resting is plus 15. Movement speed, 100%. Maximum increase of up to 140%. Right. There's also a mount speed. So you can only move as far as the minimum speed for a mount, basically. With a bit of luck, you can even overtake a mount. Very slow one, maybe. Encumbered speed. Of course, there's encumbrance in this game. Skill cooldown decrease uh, by zero, and the maximum is 80. So you cannot have infinite casts. Right. That was gears and stats. What about this one? Skins and virtues. This is the stuff that... It's kind of permanent. Wisdom is your ability to solve difficulty, uh, difficult problems. Your words and actions will be more convincing the higher your wisdom is. Right. Courage shows how brave and level-headed you are. If your courage is high, you are likely to stay more calm and composed in the face of hardship. Charisma is the power to win people's hearts. The higher your charisma is, the more warmly you are going to receive wherever you go. The description is very non-descriptive. <laughs> um, the only thing that's describing anything in here is this text. Whatever. Kindness. Not the same thing as charisma, though. Kindness represents your attitude towards other people. The higher your kindness, the more likely people are going to agree with your opinion. Ha! <laughs> that's neat. Right. You just need to be kind to them and they agree to me. Sure, this is how it works. The virtue points are earned through the sources below. And the bonuses on skins only apply when they are equipped. That makes sense with the charisma and courage and stuff, but wisdom? Ah, kindness? Come on. Earning titles by completing achievements and adventures, tome rewards, collectible rewards, quest rewards, UNAS task reputation rewards, report rank achievements, and report dialogue completion rewards. What? What is a report dialogue? And there's also equipping skins. Now the question is, how much do you get from skins in relation to all of the other stuff? Or is it just a little bit of bonus? So, but, uh, difficult problems. Like, where did the, hmm. That can be useful, maybe in some dialogue options or whatever. Probably. 
Uh, but strange. Very strange. Engraving. Increase your level of engraving by faceting ability stones or equipping accessories and engravings. So we can place this into gems and the ability stone. Right. It shows the bonuses. Yada yada. You equip engravings in the engraving window. Da 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 da. Then there's gems as well. Then there's the cards thingy that you can select. That's also related to. No, wait a minute. This is card decks. Card preset applied. Da 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 da. All right. Right. It's just the gear that it does not work all the time. Right. And with this, I think we went through almost every window in here, except for maybe raids. But no one cares about raids. At least, I don't. Right. Why is the chat window still open? That makes no sense. Yeah, I think I went for everything. Then there's also character select. No, 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 no. Ah! So this is how you can close it. You just have to uh, click on character select, click on cancel, and the chat window is gone. Wait a minute. Nope. Okay. I have no idea how to deactivate that. Sometimes I think it's uh, some, some time sensitive thing. Some other times it just disappears immediately. It's just kind of weird. I mean, card deck change. Change to female title. Da, 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 da. Sometimes you get some system information that is absolutely useless. All right. Uh, is there a delay thingy that I can make this thing? Volume, speed settings. Uh, I want something in here that makes the whole thing go. But what is this? Set the chat channel to enter the chat using the TTS function. Text to speed? Probably text to speech. No. Whatever TTS mean. Right. I want to get rid of that chat window. And there does not seem to be a nicer way of doing that. What about this one? There's a guy. Uh huh. Come on. How do you deactivate that? Without? Oh. Cannot open shop right now. Ah. Okay. Makes sense. I mean, it's nice that we can close it. There we go. What's going on with the, I don't understand the chat system. There should be a way to close this thing down immediately. Anyway, before we continue with the mission, finally. <laughs> oh, after so and so many hours. <laughs> Let's uh, end this menu and stat uh, episode. And continue with the next one. The next until then oh wait 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 ah bollocks wait i wanted to end in style here uh, well like and sub how would you like and subscribe though it must i mean it would be this like and subscribe nah, that, hmm. that doesn't really work like and subscribe of course ah there we go and, come on, ta-ta.